Malin Media and Event Private Limited. Welcome, dear audience, to the heart-pounding spectacle of the Colgate Nepal Spell B, Season 5, presented by Colgate in association with Joy, beautiful by nature, powered by Dolphin Education Consultancy, Atharva Business College and communication partner Rakuten Viva. More than half of our contenders have left the arena, leaving behind an air of anticipation and a trail of spellbound spectators as the dust settles from the mega audition rounds of the Colgate Nepal Spell B Season 5. We find ourselves at a crucial juncture. The departed contestants have showcased commendable dedication and enthusiasm, contributing to the vibrant energy that defies our battleground. Their efforts, though not securing them a spot in the next phase, have added a unique flavor to the competition. Now with unwavering focus, we turn our attention to the resilient spellers who remain ready to face the challenges of the upcoming rounds and etch their names into the annals of spelling glory. The journey continues and the stakes are higher than ever as we forge ahead in this pursuit of excellence. Before we start this journey into the enchanting realm of words, let's unravel a fascinating trivia about the English language. The longest English word without a true vowel, A, E, I, O, or U, is rhythm. Presented by Colgate Total, the complete toothpaste. In association with Your sunscreen Matahaina, Black Owl Joy Papaya Sun Joy. Beautiful by nature. Powered by Leadership, Entrepreneurship, Innovation. Atharva Business College, Dolphin Education Consultancy Center. Proudly building futures since 22 years. Communication partner, Rakuten Viva, Learning Partner. EDF Admissions, brought to you by Dish Home, Kushiko Connection. Nepcom's Visa Services, Entrance Kutayari Hamro Academy, Mid Valley International College, Payment Partner, Bravo Pay, Wallet, Aba Mobile Ma, Internet Partner, Dish Home Fiber Net, or Pardor of Bishwasi Losa, Mazaste, Dish Home Fiber Net. Sponsored by Ratnaraj Luxury Tailoring. Olympia National School and College, Professional Education Consultancy, Kathmandu College of Central State. Lamkutte bagaunsa bina dhua failai, taki nindra lai nazar na lagos. Okati swastir saundarya kulagi flux education, Eminent Educational Institute Putari Sarak Kathmandu. Okay, welcome to the game, Siddharth Secondary Boarding School. Gorkha International Secondary School and Caspian Valley Secondary School. Before we start the game, please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Sumyang Serma from Siddharth Secondary great. Boarding School, Tapa. Hello everyone, it's me Utsav Gimire, all the way from Dang, representing Gorkha International Public Secondary School, Gorai Dang. Hello everyone, I am Mandip Sakke from Caspian Valley Secondary School, Lalitpur. Okay, students from Siddharth, Gorkha International and Caspian Valley, are we ready for the game? Now we commence with our first round, which is known as Spell It. The rules are clear. 
I'll give you the meaning of the word and I'll even pronounce the word for you. All you have to do is spell it. All right? Team A, the first word I have for you is an adjective, which means twisted or bent out of shape. And the word is contorted. Can you spell the word contorted, please? C O N T O R T A N T. Probably that's incorrect. You almost spelt it correct, but I think you messed it up in the end. C O N T O R T E D would have been the right spelling. Team B, the first word I have for you is a noun, and the word means a dessert made with apples and custard. The word is Charlotte. Can you spell the word Charlotte? For me, please. So I'd like to go with teacher's call. Okay, can we place a call for Thaman sir through Viva, please? Hello. Hello, Thaman sir. And this is a call from Nepal Spell B. Your student Utsav. Yes, sir. Your student Utsav is stuck with a spelling. Please help him out. Yes, the next sir. voice will be of Utsav's. Utsav, take it away. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Uh, please, I'm saying you clear. So the word is a noun and it means a desert made with apples and custard. And the word is Charlotte. 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 Oh. C-H-A-R Yes L-O-T-T-E Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thaman, sir. Would you want to go with your teacher? Yes, sir. Please spell the word for me. C-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E Thaman, sir, was absolutely correct. Team C, the first word I have for you is a noun which means a feeling of great happiness or joy. And the word is elation. Can you spell the word elation for me, please? The word is E-L-A-T-I-O-N, elation. Absolutely correct. E-L-A-T-I-O-N, elation. Team A, the second word I have for you is a verb which means to cause something to happen in a violent way and the word is reeked can you spell the word reeked for me please your time's up the correct spelling of reeked would have been w-r-e-a-k-e-d Reeked. Team B, the next word I have for you is a verb which means very badly damaged. And the word is wrecked. R E C K E D. Wrecked. You knew the word or you guessed it? I guessed it. You guessed it wrong. Wrecked would have been spelled correctly if you had spelled W R E C K E D. Team C, the next word I have for you is a verb which means giving off an unpleasant smell. And the word is reeking. Can you spell the word reeking for me, please? The word is W-R-E-A-K-I-N-G. You guessed it? Yes. And I think you got confused that the other two words be began with a W. You thought your word would also start from a W. No, reeking is spelled R-E-E-K-I-N-G, reeking. Okay, team A, listen to the word very carefully. Some words are spelled the way it's pronounced. Some of the words are not, all right? Just be very, very careful about that. The next word I have for you is a noun. The word means something or someone that one vehemently dislikes. And the word is anathema. Can you spell the word anathema for me, please? A-N-N-A-T-H-A-E-M-A, -A -A -E anathema. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Anathema would have been spelled A-N-A-T 
T-H-E-M-A. Theme B, the next word is a noun, which means a light, airy dessert made with whipped cream and eggs. And the word is moose. Can you spell the word moose for me, please? M-O-O-S-E, moose. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Moose is spelled M-O-U-S-S-E. Team C, the next word is a noun, which means a female count. And the word is Contessa. Can you spell the word Contessa for me, please? C-O-N-T-E-S-S-A. Contessa. Absolutely correct. C-O-N-T-E-S-S-A. Contessa. Team A. The next word I have for you is an adjective, which means incapable of being expressed in words beyond description. And the word is Ineffabilious. Can you spell the word ineffabilious for me, please? I N E P H A B E L I O U S. Fortunately, that's incorrect. Ineffabilious would have been spelled correctly if you had spelled it I N E F F A B I L I O U S. Team B, the next word is a noun. And the word means a Native American mixture of dried leaves, bark, and tobacco. The word is kidney kinnik. K-I-D-N-E, K-I-D-N-I-C. Kidney kinnik. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Kidney kinnik would have been spelled correctly if you had spelled K-I-N-N-I, K-I-N-N-I-C-K. Team C, the next word I have for you is a noun which means a person who studies or collects butterflies and moths. And the word is Lepidopterist is the word. Can you spell the word Lepidopterist? L-E-P-I-D-O-P-T-O-R-I-O-U-S Lepidopterist Unfortunately, you almost spelled it correct, but I think you rushed it in the end. Lepidopterist would have been spelled correctly if you had spelled L-E-P-I-D-O-P T-E-R-I-S-T. That brings us to the end of the first round. But before we go any further, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Dear audience, get ready to join the action in the question of the week. The rules are simple. I'll pose you a question with multiple choice options. And the correct answer from the audience gets multiple gift hampers. The answer should be messaged on our official Viva channel, Nepal Spell B. The question goes as follows. What is the name of the dot that appears over the letter I or J? The options are tittle, flittle, tattle, tittle. Welcome back after the break. Now we embark on our next round, which is Spell Hive. Team A, you know the rules. Would you want to have the Hive on the screen for you? Yes, sir. Can we have the Hive for Team A on the screen? And the first word begins with the letter D, and it means having little or no light. The second word means to consume liquid, past tense. The third word, to make something darker. And the fourth word, a country in Northern Europe. And number five is a poisonous plant with a forked root that was once thought to have magical powers. The time begins now. Second word is drank, D-R-A-N-K, drank.
fourth word is Denmark D E N M A R K Denmark Your time's up All right team B are you ready for your hive can we have the hive for team B on the screen please your first word begins with the letter M and it means to come together. The second word means a unit of length equal to 100 centimeters. The third word means a bright object that appears in the sky due to the entry of a meteoroid. And the fourth word is a statement that has been proved to be true. And the fifth word, an instrument of measuring electrical resistance. Your time begins now. First word is meet, M E E T meet. The second word is meter, M E T R E meter. The last word is O meter, O H M M E T E R, O meter. The third letter is Meteor, M-E-T-E-O-R. Third word. Yeah, third word is Meteor, M-E-T-E-O-R. Your time's up. Okay, Team C, are you ready for your hive? Can we have the hive for Team C on the screen, please? First word begins with the letter T. It means a device that catches animals or people. The second word, separated from each other. The third word, a ruler or governor of ancient Persia. The fourth word, relating to or characteristic of Sparta. And the fifth word is a person who aspires to achieve something. Your time begins now. The second word is A-P-A-R-T, apart. The first word is T-R-A-P, trap. Third word is S-P-A-R-T. S P A R T A Sparta. The fourth word is S P A R T A E. And the fifth word means a person who aspires to achieve something. I N S P I R E S inspires. Okay. So we're done with this spell high round. Now we embark on the next round of the game. It's Spell Ring. So we know the rule of the game. Team A, are you ready for your ring on the screen? Can we have the ring for Team A on the screen, please? Your central letter is Y. You may start building words. T-O-Y, toy. Y O U T at youth. Time's up. You just attempted two words. The longest word in the ring would have been the principal word would have been authority. authority. And you said T O Y, correct. Y O U T H, correct. 
And now, Team B. Are you ready for your ring? Yes. Can we have the ring for Team B on the screen, please? The central letter is T. You may start building words. DOT dot, COT cot, NOT not, TO and TON, TI and TIN, TID TID, TIC TICK. IT net an IT net an IT T O O and tune T O O N tune Your time's up. The longest word in your ring would have been condition. Okay, let's go through the words. D-O-T, correct. C-O-T, correct. N-O-T, correct. T-O-N, correct. T-I-N, correct. T-I-D, what does that mean? I guess it. That's, I cannot give you that. T-I-C, correct. N-I-T, what does that mean? I guess it. I cannot give you that. T-O-O-N, correct. Okay, Team C, now it's your turn. Are you ready for the ring? Can we have the ring for team C on the screen? Your central letter is G. You may begin building words. B I Z B. B I N G B. Hmm? B I N G. Your time's up. Team C, your hidden longest word in the ring would have been beginning. B-E-G-I-N-N-I-N-G. -N -N and you attempted three words. Let's go through them. B-I-G, correct. B-I-N-G, correct. G-E-N, correct. So there you go. After this round, but before we go any further, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Dear audience, get ready to join the action in the question of the week. The rules are simple. I'll pose you a question with multiple choice options. And the correct answer from the audience gets multiple gift hampers. The answer should be messaged on our official Viva channel, Nepal Spell B. The question goes as follows. What is the name of the dot that appears over the letter I or J? The options are tittle, flittle, tattle, tittle. Welcome back after the break. Now we embark on the next round of the game, which is War of Words. First of all, for this game, I want Team A to go dart the board. Q. Okay, you darted the letter Q. Team A, you may begin. Q I N Chin. Team B. N I X Nix. Team C. X E N. N E S T Nest. T R A Y Tray. Y A R D Yard. D A N C E Dance. E A G L E Eagle. E A Z E R Eager. R A N C O R Ranker. Team B. R A N G E S Ranges. S P R I N G Spring. G-L-I-D-I-N-G, gliding. Team B. 
G L A M O U R glamour R I N G I N G ringing G R U E S O M E gruesome Team B E N G I N E E R engineer Team C R E S T L E S S restless Okay very well played and it's a Colgate happy moment right congratulations I would like you to play the same way in all the three sections of the game. Now, Team B, you may go dart the board. Okay, Team B, you darted the letter K. You may begin. K E Y K. Team C. Y A K Yak. K I D Kid. Team B. D I N E Dine. Team C. E A S E Ease. T A M E Tame. Team C said E A S E. Yeah. E A S T. E. I cannot do that. Sorry. Now Team B, five-lettered word with E. E N T R Y Entry. Y A C H T. T H E I R S Theirs. Team C. S I N G E R Singer. R O A M I N Z roaming. Team C. G R O W I N Z growing. G R A S P I N Z grasping. G G A N G L I O N ganglion. Okay, pretty well played. But please listen to ask. Okay, now Team C, please go dart the board. Okay, Team C, you darted the letter W. You may begin. W A X Wax. X E N Z. N E T Net. T E N T Tint. T E X T Text. T R A P Trap. Team C. P A R T S Parts. S O U N D Sound. D R I N K Drink. K N O D E D Nodded. Team C. K N O D E D. I cannot give you that. T A, a six-lettered word with K. K N E L T S, Nels. I don't think I can give you that. Nels. I cannot give you that. Team B, six-lettered word with K. K N I G H T, Night. Okay, that brings us to the end of War of Words. Now we come to the end of the game. The last round of the game, right? This round is a very tricky one. It gives you a lot of opportunity to redeem all the lost points during the game. Play very carefully. Only buzz if you know the answer. If not, don't buzz. You'll be losing points. All right? Now, Siddharth Secondary Boarding School, Gorkha International Secondary School, and Caspian Valley Secondary School. Brace yourselves, listen to what I say, and try to find the right word of the meaning that I give you. First word I have for you is a 12-lettered word with the first letter V, which means the process of changing from a liquid to a gas. Team B. Vaporization. V a p o r i s a t i o n. Vaporization. Absolutely correct. You could have spelt it V a p o r i z a t i o n as well. I'll give you that. The second word I have for you is a seven-lettered word with the first letter S, which means a day of rest and worship observed by Jews and Christians. Okay, the letters that go into the word H S A B T A B. The right word would have been Sabbath. 
S A B B A T H. The next word I have for you is a nine lettered word with the first letter B. And the word means the first meal of the day. Team B. Breakfast. B R E A K F A S T. Breakfast. Absolutely correct. Breakfast. B R E A K F A S T. Breakfast. The next word I have for you is an 11 lettered word with the first letter M, which means an exaggerated belief in one's own importance and abilities. And the letters that go into the word I-L-A-N-G-M-M-O-E-A-A. -A -A. Time's up. The right word would have been megalomania. M-E-G-A-L-O-M-A-N-I-A. Megalomania. The next word I have for you is a nine-lettered word with the first letter B, which means very intelligent or talented. Team C. B-R-I-L-L-I-A-N-T. Brilliant. Absolutely correct. Brilliant. The next word I have for you is a five-lettered word with the first letter B, which means the hair that grows on a man's chin and cheeks. Caspian Valley. B-E-A-R-D beard. B-E-A-R-D beard is the right answer. The last word of the round is brought to you by Colgate and it is a 10 lettered word with the first letter P, which means a dental appliance that replaces a missing tooth or covers up tooth defects. The letters that go into the word H S O S P R E I T S. Time's up. The right word would have been prosthesis. P R O S T H E S I S. That brings us to the end of the game, but the game ends with the scores. Before the scores come to my table, I'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Co sponsor Prime CA, Nayabanishur, Chabahil, and Lagankil. Reliance International Academy. Euro School Chowney Makeup Partner Facial House A Complete Hair and Beauty Solution App Partner Hamro Patro Hospitality Partner Siddhartha Group of Hospitality Online Media Partner Desh Sansar Kendra Bindu Dear audience, get ready to join the action in the question of the week. The rules are simple. I'll pose you a question with multiple choice options and the correct answer from the audience gets multiple gift hampers. The answer should be messaged on our official Viva channel, Nepal Spell B. The question goes as follows. What is the name of the dot that appears over the letter I or J? The options are Tittle, flittle, tattle, dittle. Welcome back after the break. Now it's result time. I'll go according to the flow of the game. Team A, you scored 580 points. Team B, you scored 1,495 points. 
and Team C, Caspian Valley Secondary School, you scored 1,155 points. Therefore, Gorka International Secondary School, congratulations. And Caspian Valley Secondary School runner-up, congratulations to you too. Both of you graduate to the next round. Unfortunately, for Siddhartha Secondary Boarding School, it's the end of the game, right? But nothing to worry, it's not the end of the world. You have plenty of things to do in life, do well in life. Thank you very much for playing with us. Okay, Team B, this is your scholarship gift voucher. And this is a bag of goodies from Joy. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of yet another episode of Nepal Spell Bee Season 5. We'll be back with a new, fresh episode next week, same time on Kantipu Television HD. Till then, have a great week. Good night and namaste. Dear audience, get ready to join the action in the question of the week. The rules are simple. I'll pose you a question with multiple choice options and the correct answer from the audience gets multiple gift hampers. The answer should be messaged on our official Viva channel, Nepal Spell B. The question goes as follows. What is the name of the dot that appears over the letter I or J? The options are Tittle, Flittle, Tattle, Tittle.